Get ready for the free throw challenge. Alrighty, today we're gonna be using some toilet paper, copy paper, and some construction paper. And a laundry bin as well, as we have a Kleenex box. We're gonna start off by tearing some toilet paper. So tearing is also a prerequisite skill to cutting. Um, and I want you to just cut off a couple pieces, okay? And what I like about this is that for toddlers and little ones, is because toilet paper is very soft, it's gonna be easy for them to tear. And it's gonna give them that sense of accomplishment that they are able to do it. For older kids, we'll probably wanna start transitioning to printer paper. And uh, with the printer paper, we're gonna keep tearing it just layer it together. So now as you can see there's four pieces together and the more you do it, they're really gonna be challenging their grip strength and their fine motor coordination. Oof. And it gets tougher and tougher as you can see. Okay. Ooh, this one's a little bit really, really tough. Even for me. And we're gonna leave this also down. And then the construction paper is a little bit thicker than normal printer paper. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. And as you can see, put them together. And it gets tougher and tougher as you go. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is have your child grab the toilet paper using their dominant hand and crumple it up and then we're gonna have them do like a, a free throw like they're playing basketball now this is a lot of hand-eye coordination skills that are involved and you're gonna see as I shoot for the laundry bin which is placed right by me they have to really aim and try to get as many as they can in so it's really working on multiple skills here at the same time and at the end, you can have them count how many pieces they got inside and try to beat it the next time you throw it in. You can also have them, if you want, try to uh, crumple as many as they can and have them put it inside of their fingers and grab another piece so you can tell them they're holding on to as many of their free throw shots as possible in their hand before they go ahead and shoot it. This also works on finger isolation here of the three magic fingers. And then you have them hide away all the extra pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and do some of the blue and the blue, as you can see, it's a little bit more difficult. And we're gonna go ahead and just start trying to shoot. Oh, there you go, got my second one. And they have to really work hard to get it from the other side of their fingers into the bin. So as you can tell, this works on translation from bringing it to your three magic fingers over to, the, to your other two fingers holding on. And you can also work on translation from your fourth and fifth finger back to your first three fingers when you go to shoot it. This is a little bit more challenging and this would be a good activity to do with the older kids. The younger ones, you can use some of the toilet paper, have them roll it up with both fingers, and then have them shoot it. And sometimes even make bigger balls will help them to be able to, to do it. And you can make your laundry bin farther away or closer to you, depending on how far a range they can throw. You can also make this activity more challenging by using a tissue box instead. And you can go ahead and try to shoot it and try to get it inside of the tissue box. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. And be sure to follow me also on Instagram and Facebook. Memes or interesting pediatric knowledge.